How's it going to you boys? It is week 12 and we've got a matchup here against a completely opposite record Warhawks, uh, Louisiana Monroe. As always, we can start the episode by checking out our recruiting. Feels like we're maybe on the cusp of picking up a few players here. Let's check our biggest lead. Yeah, Carlos Sanders. Now, again, not on all of these players are going to be world beating, but a lot of them, you know, by the time they're seniors, I'm expecting something. A lot of points maybe into some of them that, that could come away as well. And uh, let's go to the bottom of the board, see how we're doing with the guys that are low. We know that we lost Eric Oliver and Ger uh, Gerald Meyer. Wake Forest and FAU taking those guys from us. Now, how are we doing elsewhere? Still going to go 100 or the 500 points into Adam Johnson. And we'll probably go with the 500 on a lot of these guys. Not worried about Brandon Parker because Arkansas State just had a visit. Um, as long as we're gaining or, or looking okay on these guys, we should be in a decent spot. Now, this one's worrying for me. FAU just had their visit, and so they jump up to a 400-point lead. Um, so we do have our visit coming soon, but we're going to go give him the full 500 just to make sure he doesn't commit to FAU before we even get a chance to bring him in for the visit. Um, and I think that we're going to see that a lot. Kyle Walker again, they just had a visit. So, uh, we want to give him a few points to make sure that we recuperate our lead. And it seems like... Um, most of the spots where we're losing ground on people, they've already had visits. Except here, John Gonzalez, uh, ULM, the team trying to make a little run at him. We have 250 points. I think that he might get the rest of them. As we go around, it looks pretty solid in our favor. Um, you know, just actually, just, just making sure that we're keeping leads. And, you know, I think that our class should be pretty solid. Now, I... I think that's going to be it for our recruiting for this week. I might add uh, three more players to the board just to round it out, make sure that we're at that 35. But uh, for the most part, I think that we're pretty solid here. Only three undefeated teams left in this uh, season. At least at the at the top, there you know could always be one slowly moving their way up the ranks. Um, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too crazy of a game. There are some ranked matchups including Georgia and Auburn and Texas and Oklahoma State. So, guaranteed that we see a top 10 team lose and a chance for um, another to lose, but at least another top 15. Now, against ULM here, I did say that we are exact opposites in terms of our record, and that could not be more true. 7-1, 5-0 in conference for us versus 1-7, 0-5 in conference. For the Warhawks, they're a D plus overall rating, so we've got the edge on everything except for uh, our offensive stats. So maybe a, a chance for our defense to struggle. Although I gotta say I'm feeling relatively confident. Who is their win to? A number 23, six and two Tulane, and they won it by 10. Um, you know, maybe maybe their record not showing uh, their true potential. They they lost a. a it's a decent Wake Forest. Not too much of a blowout here or against Baylor. Um, bad loss against Georgia Southern, but they go to overtime against Texas State and Troy. And it's a three-point loss to Georgia State. So, you know, if things just went differently, just a little bit in a few of those games, they could have three, maybe four wins. We're, however, not going to uh, take it easy on them. And, and hopefully we can do... Uh, what Arkansas State or did to them or worse. You know, they won 29-0. Maybe we win 50 to nothing. Who knows? This is one of those seasons where it kind of feels like, um, is it too easy? Are we winning games that we shouldn't? But when I look at it, and, and when you make some parallels to real life here, uh, our one loss is to a, you know, it was a close one, maybe closer than it should have been, but to a 5-5 five and five LSU. So the best team that we've played talent wise is 500 on the season um and then the rest of the teams i mean i guess ucla should be better they they don't seem to be terrible in real life this year um but I, irl coastal is at the time in this recording undefeated like eight no so i expect appalachian state to be maybe our most difficult matchup left i mean 
not great on the winning records for our opponents. We're going to be wearing our standard away uniforms this match. Um, and the Warhawks will be wearing their standard non-updated homes. And we can see offensively they're pretty solid, but their overall is only a 68 and their defense a 66. If we can't do work on offense, we're going to be in trouble. Once again, looking at rankings, we seem to be pretty awful on offense. Um, our defense is pretty solid now. Uh, I do typically take my rush defense with a little bit of a grain of salt. It seems like it's easy to have a really good rush defense in this game. Um, but elsewhere, I'm fine with the results. They, however, on the other hand, have one of the worst defenses in the country. 120th in points, 121st in yards, 117th in passing yards, and 111th in rushing yards. I, if Grayson McCall and the rest of the crew can't get it done, that's a problem. Um, as they have a couple visits and top players, you know, they get to that mid 80s overall, but there must be a pretty steep drop off and injury wise two left ends out uh, sprained elbow and a torn bicep. So uh, hopefully they have some depth at that position. Otherwise, we will be able to exploit it. So here we are. Tails again. Oh, sh <laughs> OK, uh, that one didn't happen. <laughs> it totally. We totally didn't lose that toss. And somehow they have elected to receive the ball so once again biscardi kicks this game off and we're gonna see a touchback to start it so the offense for ulm comes out onto the field to start this game can we manage to hold them we didn't expect this to be the easiest matchup here our off or their offense against our defense but we start the game with a big sack there and I am a little bit worried for these guys. If the quarterback's taken off to scramble that quick, they can't seem to find anything as they go to a slip screen and throw the ball away. And just like that, we're in a third and long. See if we can get the stomp as they will go to the air here on third down. And they run back-to-back -back slip screens. Can we get there? Teddy Gallagher knocks him out of bounds for a four-yard gain. So time for Diggs to go back and return a punt. I feel like maybe... There is something that we could do to make this a little bit more difficult in the return game, but this has always been the part of the game that I've been best at, and we'll see. Diggs uh, struggling to get under the ball, fields it, makes the first man miss. This is ridiculous. Oh, I probably could have got a few more yards, but it's a 29-yard return, almost to the 40 for us. With uh, another ridiculous special teams play, offense will start their drive, and Marable picks up five yards on first down. We know that I really struggled throwing the ball last game, so um, we got to make sure that we fix that problem. But if the running game is going to work five yards apiece for Marable, then I don't know if we need to put the ball up. Remember, this is one of the nation's worst defenses that we're up against. So we realistically should be able to do pretty well as Marable trucks a man and gets another six. And this could be the entire game here. We're going to just continue to ride on Marable's shoulders here. Opening drive. No reason not to. Gets us to a third and one. And I think here we're going to go to the air, actually. We've been lulling the defense to sleep. Will it pay off? No. Oh, my God. Why? Why do I do this? Why? Why? It's a pick six. Oh, my gosh. The worst defense in the country. I, besmir I besmirch their name. Thank oh goodness. I can't even speak now. And uh, Jabari Johnson takes that all the way to the house. Uh, I swear I'm not throwing that on purpose. I honestly think at this point we need to just run the triple option because when I throw the ball, things go poorly. Um, but, hey, at least it allows Diggs to get out on the field and we can show the, the biggest threat on our team. So the first time out, the defense held perfectly. The offense was driving down the field just fine. And we threw one pass and it goes for an interception. And uh, ULM has seven points. Let's see if we can avoid that on this one. I swear to you that when I do stupid stuff like that, it is not intentional point shaving. It's just me, you know, not being great at passing in this game. Unfortunately, I do feel like I need to go to the air here. Uh, same Denmark has the first down, and hey, we're 50% through the air now. Marable on another first down near midfield. Taking this one, I'm bouncing this to the edge. That didn't work. 
Oh, uh, I thought maybe I had a chance to go all the way around the corner, but we only get two. My hope is that these guys just get super, super tired on defense and we're, you know, just able to run it until they die, but we need to be smart about the way that we're doing it. And, uh, maybe a little bit more successful over the middle. We have Denmark and he's inside the 25. And a couple of open guys there took the one further downfield. And the play action works just fine. Maybe a bit of a risk. We'll go to the air on this first down. And there's Brown open on the route that we threw the pick on the first time. He's got enough for the first down inside the red zone. So at least we're now three of four through the air. <laughs> and to get back off again. Some nice blocks in front of Maribel. He's able to get almost into the end zone. There's a flag down, though. I'm going to say this is probably a clipping, though, a hold. So great runs coming all the way back. First and 14 for us. Latushko got called for that one, which sends us back outside the 15. And we'll run it again here on first down, but I don't expect it to be nearly as good. Oh, the diving tackle stops that one from turning into a big run. Going to the air, potentially looking for Javon Hiley deep, although I just got to get rid of this one. Pressure was coming. I didn't want to throw another pick, so I'd rather throw it away and live to see another day. I really don't want to settle for a field goal here, but if we don't convert, I think that we need to. Going to the air. I'm looking over the middle. Oh, no. Dangerous throw. <laughs> God dang it. Why do I do this? I thought for sure that I would be able to use him to get uh, underneath there. Instead, it's a pick. And he's getting a little stiff arm cheese across the five and get a positive two yard. We're going to bring a ton of pressure here. I want the safety. If they manage to throw up a bomb here, that's good for them. But I'm not going to let them get this one easily. Third and five. I think that'll be the end of the quarter. And at the end of one, down seven, nothing. Uh, throwing two picks against one of the worst defenses in the country. It's just, it's just not good. I'm a regular old Jameis Winston right now. Just can't do anything but throw interceptions. And the massive blitz doesn't do good for us there as they pick up 17 yards on third down. Not in the groove of the game right now. Let's <laughs> see if we can figure something out here. Massive run now almost to midfield. 20 yards for Josh Johnson. This could be going a lot better. Uh, they go to the air and Spillum had a chance to get the pick and then somehow just doesn't even hit him. Oh, man. Nothing's going right so far in this game, and, and there's a chance we could be falling two scores here to a not-good offense. This one's going to the air. Spill him again. Can't get there. He's able to bring down Jonathan Hodo. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but it's a first and goal, and we are going to bring a, a big blitz here, expecting this to be a run. They hand it off. We're there to hit him behind the line, but he breaks the tackle, and Josh Johnson is in for six uh two score lead for ulm this has been a frustrating start to the game Diggs, uh i'm gonna i have to let him bring him out because i can't do anything else except for special teams in this game and even today that's not working all that well for us so i can't pass we're struggling to run effectively i'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do to score points in this game the most painful thing about all of this is that we have a very similar amount of yards of total offense. It's just not working for us. The wide receiver mid-screen, though, does work. There's nine yards to the safe throw through the air. And as we start to kind of get to the midway point of this half, my big thing... Oh, Maribel stumbles and loses three yards. My big thing is that I just want to have a good drive here. Some sort of points. I'm not a huge fan of it right now, but on second and 13, we're going to go read option and hope... The McCall can do something, and he's dropped for a loss of two. Oh, no, we're going to have to go to the air. See what we can do on this one. I'm throwing up a bomb. This is so dangerous. Javon Hiley. No words. No words. This is not going according to plan right now. Um, bringing, <laughs> bringing shame to the uh, Coast of Clara line of name. That was a nice pass breakup, though. I'm just struggling. <laughs> I, I, I've got no explanation other than 
my brain's not working at 100%. Clearly. Oh my gosh, we have him in the third down. Maybe a chance for the defense to get a stop here. But it almost seems like it's going to be a miracle for that to happen. Third and six, they go to the air. That tight end is wide open. Spillum can't get there in time. I saw it coming. Just couldn't get there. All right, maybe we can do something here. A draw. I knew that one was coming. I got stuck on the blocks. And they're breaking all sorts of tackles. Josh Johnson, 21 yards, man. We just can't stop these guys. It's so annoying. Here they're going to go to the air. Right open over the middle. The defense is just as bad as my passing right now. This one is straight up makings of a trap game. Is it looks like we're going to fall at least three scores here. Defense gets a big sack, but it's second and 18. And they got to still be in field goal range. Expecting the pass here on second down. We'll see what we can do. As they'll just kind of toss it out to the running back. He's going to get positive yards out of that play. How does that eight yards? Oh, we can't close out soon enough. And they get themselves a third and ten inside the red zone. We'll see them go to the uh, expecting him to throw this one. He's got a man coming back wide open, and he fights his way into the end zone. Oh, my gosh. It's 21 to nothing. Oh, this is not going the way that I would have hoped that it would go. Um, we do get the ball to start the third quarter, but... Is that going to be of any use to us? Oh my god, I can't even return kicks now. So, we can't pass. We can't seem to play defense. We can kind of run, but not good enough. I don't... Do we just run four plays in a row until we have something good happen? Marable is truly going to be tired at the end of this one. Breaking a tackle, falling forward for two, but now it's third and six. I can't reliably pick up six on the ground, so we'll go to the air. And now as I'm scrambling, the pressure's coming. I'm throwing this one up for Latushko, and he has it. <laughs> that was a, an absolute bailout from Greg there. The other problem on this drive is that there's now a minute and ten seconds left in the half, and we have to be cognizant of the clock. It means that we kind of have to be throwing. There's Javon Hiley, and he steps out of bounds. So back-to-back -back pass is completed. Maybe, maybe I can just avoid throwing a, like... A fourth pick this game? <laughs> it's, it's not good. It's not good. A minute and seven seconds on the clock. And I took the sack. Uh, we're taking a timeout here. I need to just figure something out real quick. I've never felt more hopeless on offense than I do right now. The rollout finds Javon Hiley open and he gets out of bounds. But we've got a third and long to pick up now. We'll see what the safety does here. Oh, uh, this is risky. Over the middle. <laughs> yeah. I didn't I didn't feel like I could make any other throw, even that deep post. Fourth and eight, though. We're across midfield. There's 52 seconds and a half. I need points desperately. So we're going to go for this. And there it is. Latushko comes down with it. Oh, finally a beautiful throw from Grayson McCall on that one. Seeing what we can do on this first down. I'm going to get outside the pocket. Oh, oh, I threw it too late. Javon Highway back to the end zone. It was picked off, but he was out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. Does anybody have a hotline that I can call for <laughs> help on my terrible passing? Oh, even that one gets broken up. Third and 10, 37 seconds. I need to uh, relinquish my play calling abilities to the offensive coordinator, it seems. Sam Denmark does get enough for the first down and gets us inside the red zone, but is it going to be enough as we've got to go hurry up now? I got to hope that somebody does something great. Over the middle, there's the tight end. Finally, we find Likely. I think that's his third target and only the first time the ball has actually gotten to him. And I'm planning on taking a timeout here, but I figure we'll run a play. Uh, rush up the middle before we do that. And second and goal, 21 seconds. We could score a touchdown. And seeing as we're at the one-yard line, it's going to be a Grayson McCall. QB sneak trying to get over the middle. He's in. Okay. So, we have scored points. We won't be shut out in this game. 20 seconds to go in the half. Let's make sure that we don't give up points, though. If you are the Warhawks at this point, I have to imagine that you're happy with the lead that you've built. But you know that you can do better. They seem like they're going to be a little bit aggressive here. 
So we know that they want these points. I don't blame them. Question is, can we stop them? Going in there. With, well, they, they're running it here. <laughs> I was going to say that was a foolish mistake, but they pick up the first down and take a timeout. In the cover three here to hopefully prevent a, uh, you know, a long bomb. Get an extra safety or something. As Jackson's going to be brought down. Eight seconds on the clock here. They still have time to throw a pass up here and get into field goal range, so they don't have to look for it all, though I expect they most likely will. And quarterback just threw a terrible one. Awfully dangerous. Close to being picked off if we're being serious. And as the quarter is about to come to a close here, we're expecting the Hail Mary. It looks like a Hail Mary. Please, nothing crazy. Okay, we just deflect the ball, see it hit the turf, and we can go into the locker rooms getting the ball. Only down 14. Um, I, I, I just don't know what I'm doing for that entire first quarter. Three interceptions. Defense can't get it done enough. Uh, but most importantly, the offense needs to turn things around. Maybe Diggs can start to... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I always do this bad pun incoming. Maybe Diggs can dig us out of this hole that we've built for ourselves. And the return starts strong. Juke, oh, not able to pass a couple guys, but near midfield. And hopefully Marable got a good dose of Gatorade there in the locker room's halftime because we need him to do a lot more work than he's already done. Remember, this is a mid-60s overall defense that we're up against, and we're playing the way that we are, and they're playing the way that they are, so this is kind of disappointing for us. We go to the air here on third and seven. That's, oh my, don't, I, I did it again. I did it again. Grayson McCall with a chance to stop this from being another pick six. Somebody, please, take the controller from me. I'm going to say that my only excuse at this point is that I'm recording this, you know, pretty early in the morning. Maybe, uh, maybe I should have let my brain wake up because I am playing like absolute dog crap. I'm so impressed, though. That somehow the AI defensive backs are able to jump the routes so perfectly. Second and goal. They're going with the option. Out towards the edge. Touchdown. ULM. It's back to a 21-point lead here. This is just not optimal at the moment. I'm going to continue to try to return these with digs because, as we saw in the last episode, it's the only thing that I can do, you know, kind of well. But it's not working out today as... Diggs actually slow to get up. Maybe the only shining spot of this team is injured. Maybe making a terrible mistake. First down, we throw it to Latushko. And while I hope it doesn't hurt him, as I guess Diggs with a foot sprain, so a minor injury. While I hope it doesn't hurt our starting quarterback, we're bringing in Fred Payton. Fred did very well in his tenure as the starting quarterback, well, McCall was out injured, and I'm hoping maybe today he's feeling a little bit better. If you throw, you know, four picks in just over at half of a game, uh, you're not going to get too many more opportunities. So, unfortunately for Grayson, it's Fred's time, and it also seems like somehow on this drive we're having to, some success running the ball. Second and four, we'll hand this one off. Fred... Getting some blocking downfield, and he's off to the races. Fred out of bounds just across the 25, making an immediate impact in this game. See what we can do here. Risky throw, Sam Denmark. Fred Payton has come into the game and has scored a touchdown in just a couple of plays and one pass, 24 yards into the end zone. Oh, could that be the change that we need? Finally making a good read for me. And we might be back in this one. Now, if the defense can kick it into gear here for the rest of the game, I think we will still have a chance to win it. Three and a half minutes left in the third is still plenty of time to, you know, reduce that two-score deficit. But we got to find that success sooner rather than later. They've been running the hurry up, which is honestly useful for us, saving a little bit of game clock. Unfortunately, though, it's not working to our advantage because they are having no problems running the football. They go to the air. We're bringing a blitz. Broken tackle by the quarterback. And he's able to get four yards on that scramble. That's one of those plays where I expect us to strip the uh, the fumble or the football on that one 
force the fumble, but it doesn't happen. And over the middle? Man, he just missed his, his guy. He was open. But third down here for us. We're bringing a little blitz on this third down. Kind of expecting them to go to the air. They will. Blitz forces the quarterback to scramble. We hit him at the line again, but the refs will give him the spot. So this one continues not to work. That one's put on the ground, and it's another eight yards. These guys are unstoppable right now. We knew coming in that their offense was, you know, nothing to laugh at, but we just can't do anything. A wide open out route, and he's even able to stay in bounds and get a couple more up the field. This one's disastrous. Now, I guess if you take those four interceptions away, it's probably a much closer football game. Spillum gets one back for us. Oh, switch to the user, and we finally did something right today. One interception in our favor now. We stopped the momentum on the drive. It was a fantastic pick and maybe a chance to make this a one-score game. No deep safety for the Warhawks on this one. I'm looking at Sam Denmark. I'm throwing it up for him. Can he come down with it? First play. Oh, I thought that he had it. Ball gets knocked free, though. Now, you might be thinking, Goon, you've already thrown four picks in this game. Why are you throwing up terrible 50-50 balls? Well, it's because we got Fred Payton in now. <laughs> I had to give the, the backup a chance to, uh, you know, go two for two with two touchdowns. Unfortunately for us, it doesn't work that time, but it looks like we still have a chance to pick up this first down, third and one. We will run it up the middle. Marable gets through the line and is able to pick it up. First down. I'm looking to run with Fred here. There it is. Denmark drops the pass. Oh, Sam's had a you know minor case of the drops this all season. I really thought that he was going to be able to hold on to that one, though, so... Disappointing. Looking for a couple of slant routes here. Second and ten. And I actually want Latushko trying to pull that safety away. So we'll send him on the go route. That leaves Javon Highlight wide open over the middle for a quick little slant. Giving us another third and one. A minute to go here in this third quarter. Big third down for us. I'm going to say this is probably fourth down territory. But it doesn't matter. Marable picks up a big five yard chunk there. Keeps the drive alive for another set. We'll give it to him again here on this first down. The blocking is okay, but it could be better. Cutting it back, we get three yards. Seems like a great time for a play action as... We can't get rid of that one in time. Two guys wide open coming over the top there. Just couldn't find them. Third and seven here. It's going to be hard to pick it up. We're looking at the wide receiver mid screen. This is, again, still four down territory. So we don't have to get it all, and, well, we didn't get any of it. So Fred Payton's first pass on the game was a touchdown. He's now two for six, though. But he's found his third completion, and it's to Sam Denmark for a 15-yard catch and another first down. Really coming to the end of the third quarter now. We need to maybe kick it into overdrive. We'll hand this one off to Marable on first down. He's trying to get to the edge. Not enough speed to find the corner. And as the third quarter comes to a close, still down two scores, but with the ball, making a move on the drive. It's up to the defense, though, to win this one at this point. Even if we score on this drive, if we can't get the ball back or if we can't prevent them from scoring again, we're in trouble. We find Isaiah Likely running towards the end zone. That was a really scary throw. <laughs> he gets 35 yards down. I thought that one was going to be picked off, but it's a first and goal just like that. Oh my goodness, I thought for sure that one was going to be picked off instead. Could it be a touchdown for Marable? No. Chugging uh, forward for a yard, gets a little bit closer. And this being the fourth quarter, while well, we're still going to be running the ball, we're going to go in the hurry up and see if we can work with the misdirection. Marable cuts it back, it's back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Now it's third goal, just like that. We're going to try it again. Hopefully the blocking is good enough. Marable finds the end zone. 21 to 28, 5 10 left in the game. All we need at this point is one stop, and we could still push overtime. Question is can we get that stop? Uh, great looking return so far. Still on his feet. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of work. He goes 27 yards for that. Really, really hoping that the defense is capable on this drive. 
Uh, kind of expecting some early running, as that would make the most sense. They do go to the ground and will stop him right at the line of scrimmage. No loss of yards, but enough to bring up a second and ten as again they go into the hurry up. Looks like maybe they just run to the other side, and that's exactly what they do. Gunter brings him down in the backfield, third and ten, 440 to play. This looks like we could get the stop. We're going to stick in this cover, too. Question is, can we hold them on third down as we know that they're going to go to the air? I'm actually going to back off the coverage in anticipation. They ran a screen. I wasn't paying attention, but we're there to get the stop fourth and six, and the defense holds. Not only that, but now they have to punt it away, and it will almost certainly be returnable for Diggs. It would be completely on brand for him to take this one to the house. Um, definitely returnable. Question is, how's the blocking going to look? Diggs trying to suck in the defense a little bit. Makes a man miss. I don't think he's going to be able to get the corner. Breaks a tackle, though. And he got to midfield. So with just under four minutes to play, it is absolutely crucial that we score on this drive. And we're going to start this with a Fred Payton scramble. He's got some blocks, and we're going to get out of bounds after picking up 21 yards. I would love to be able to somehow win this in regulation, but I don't expect that that's going to happen. So... We'll hand it off to Haile on the sweep, and he can pick up a couple of yards. Now it's time for a little read option. Haile did a, a little bit, but not enough. This one's going to be handed off to Marable. I just thought maybe I could break that tackle, but now it's third and six. Hoping for the best here. They're going to bring some pressure. I'm going to get outside the pocket. And, oh my gosh, I needed I needed uh, Marable to run forward and set a block for me. It's fourth and three. We got to go for it. All right, five wide for Fred Payton, and there's pressure coming. I'm letting this one go. Sam Denmark holds on to it. Oh, my gosh, I just got terrified. We had to do something there, and now with 2.25 on the clock, we're almost throwing another pick. Oh, I'm so happy that that was incomplete. Second and 10 now. We will look to the air. Again, I'm scrambling. You can't leave Fred Payton that much space. Doesn't fumble. Picks up the first and goal. 2.16 on the clock now. And we will see if Marable can pick this one up on the ground. They are awfully tight in in the box there. Marable cuts to the edge. Into the end zone. Tie ball game. Two minutes to play. Can the defense keep us in this and get us to overtime or maybe see us win the game? I was very tempted to try for the onside kick, but I figured it'd be wise just to... Uh, Go for a normal kickoff and give our defense a lot of room to work with. I was tempted to try with like an onside kick and give our defense a lot of room to work with as uh, Jaquan Bloomfield just picked up a nice one. But in the end, I kind of figured it would make more sense just to allow the defense to have a lot of room to work with. This one's a massive early sack. Eliminating that first down catch, it's third and ten. Guys, this one's not over yet. With a stop here on defense, we would have time to move the ball ourselves and potentially pick up a game-winning field goal. They go with the screen. It's a terrible idea. Broken tackle, though. And there it is. Taking the time out a minute and 26, fourth and five. And we have allowed Diggs to get back out onto the field again. It would be an absolute miracle if we won this game. We are outgaining them in terms of total yardage. This punt is, again, going to be returnable. The question is, how's the blocking going to look for us? Diggs trying to get towards the edge. It's not going to be good enough. No, he stays in bounds. Diggs somehow squeezes through. And just like that, I'm going to try to burn a little bit of clock. We take the lead. <laughs> How did the blocking work for that? There's no flags on the play. And it's another special teams touchdown for Coastal Carolina. Seriously, Diggs for Heisman. It is actually absurd. How on brand that type of play now is. As ULM will take a touchback. And now they're fighting for their lives with a minute and eight to play. They've got all three timeouts to work with. Um, yeah, at least we've almost guaranteed ourselves overtime at the worst case scenario. I don't see them going for two. They are, however, going to be in this, uh, this hurry up for the entire time. And we need to make sure that we are... Staying focused, and oh no, wide open down the field. Bloomfield takes it, breaks one tackle, breaks a second, and just like that, they score. They tie it up right after we take the lead. It's a 72 or 74-yard touchdown reception 
Two broken tackles, and now we're going to have 44 seconds to try to score again. This game has actually been ridiculous. Diggs back again. There's zero chance that he takes this one to the house. Although the blocking is perfect. Diggs, one man to beat. Oh, the diving tackle saves what honestly could have been a touchdown, but that puts us into great field goal position to start this drive. We only have to pick up 20 or so yards here. And we've got 40 seconds and two timeouts. First play on the drive, though. I'm scrambling with Fred. Uh, I have no idea what they're doing. They, they just allowed us to just waltz into field goal range. Terrible, terrible defense there as the scramble works perfectly. I, I still want to get a little bit closer because, you know, you never know when I'm going to screw something as easy as a field goal up. Uh, and, oh my gosh, uh, I thought the D-lineman was going to pick that one off. Second and ten, we're going to put this one on the ground and see uh, if we can get a couple of yards and then burn the clock and kick our field goal. I don't want to risk throwing a pick right now. We did get three. We're going to go in the hurry up and then take a timeout right before the game clock expires. I see no reason to risk this game with a turnover in this spot. So at three seconds, we're going to take our second time out and see if we can kick a game-winning field goal. ULM taking the time out to ice us. Oh, no. I don't know if we centered the ball well enough. We need to go just a little bit to the left. i got to be honest. I'm a little bit scared here. Kick is up. Oh, I pushed it left. Maybe can it sneak through the uprights? Oh, that's the time. It expires on the clock. We just barely put that one through. 40 plus yards out on the kick. And it should have never been this close. And uh, now one and eight ULM. We get it done. We move to eight and one on the season, I believe. 6-0 in conference. And somehow we come out of this trap game with a win. That's it's disappointing how close that was. Well, we certainly did not cover the spread in this game, <laughs> but I mean, a win's a win. Um, held scoreless in the first quarter. We were down too much at halftime. Really struggled, but 24 fourth quarter points. Team coming up clutch, hitting the kick while we were iced. And freaking Diggs with another punt return touchdown. That one, I don't understand how he didn't get tackled, how he managed to squeeze through everybody. Oh, man. We destroyed them in time of possession. It shouldn't have been this close. We just... Four turnovers, man. I cannot do well in the turnover battle this season. They had not a crazy amount of yards of offense. We just uh, kept giving them the ball with good field position. Marable ends up as our offensive player of the game. It obviously wasn't going to be one of our quarterbacks. 29 carries, only 83 yards and two touchdowns. That is not a great uh, yards per carry stat. CJ Brewer had two sacks on the game on defense. Um, and just compare CJ to their running back, Josh Johnson. 14 carries for 100 yards uh, and a couple of receptions as well. We just didn't have a good game. We didn't deserve to win this one, but... Hey, we came out of it by the skin of our teeth and, and we're still alive on the season. So <laughs> at eight and one now, perfect still in conference. Let's some let's just I don't know. We'll we'll move forward here to the Texas State game. We've got a bunch of recruits coming to visit. Um and we will take a look at ESPN here to end the episode. Both of our coordinators have leveled up, so that's useful. Um, oh no, Ben Mackey is going to South Carolina, so is Michael Wood, so we lose 267 overall left ends for the Gamecocks. Um, I would say that we're the better chicken mascot, but I guess those guys feel otherwise. And then a couple more recruits that we can set up visits for probably this week, and we'll, we'll hope that we can pick up a lot of recruits following this game uh we'll save said recruiting and all a thousand points that we have to give for the future all that we'll take a look at here is our top 25 before we then end the episode and see what happened i don't think anything crazy um no nothing nothing too crazy yet cincinnati had to go to overtime against tulsa so they are back to single digits on their ranking but awfully close to losing and we have let's see six playing seven uh, 9 playing 24, 
11 and 12 playing so some decent ranked games 16 14 um, and we did see a couple losses arizona state georgia did i miss one up a little bit further no oh yeah i did uh oklahoma state lost to texas but we knew that one of those two had to lose and then memphis and michigan take losses as well and look at that coastal carolina receiving votes puts us in what is that 28th place currently ranked 28th at the moment uh, how about the one that matters this late in the season the bcs poll not ranked there and we we can't see any any further beyond the top 25 so we could be going to a solid solid bowl game and you know what the bowl projections are out i think this might be the first week they have us in the rnl carriers new orleans bowl against florida atlantic uh you know a six and four fau versus us i feel like maybe we de deserve something a little bit better but we won't complain about it too much yet. That's going to be it for this episode, though. <laughs> Hopefully what may have looked like point shaving for me doesn't turn you guys off there. I swear, I I just sometimes have a real hard time throwing the ball in this game. Four interceptions is a little bit uh, outside the norm, however. But I hope that, you know, me accidentally creating a, a very close game out of what should have been a blowout made it a little bit more entertaining that being said thanks again for watching if you enjoyed it please feel free to hit the subscribe you guys have been awesome with that recently and it means a lot um, and if you like the video feel free to like it and of course you know as always if you saw something weird with the sliders maybe maybe thoughts on what we could change or just thoughts on, on my general uh, bad gameplay, feel free to leave a comment. And then if you haven't gotten enough content here on YouTube, uh, we're live pretty often over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. Really would love to have you guys pop over there, hop in the chat and, and join in on that community. But regardless, thanks so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys, and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.